Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another one of the buffed Pokemon for the Season of Light, Fairy Wind Galarian Weezing. Now, Galarian Weezing has an incredibly unique typing. It is a fairy and poison type Pokemon, and for the moveset, it's running Fairy Wind, which is a fairy type clone of the move Mudshot, so it generates energy incredibly quickly, play rough, and overheat for the nuke move. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out Fairy Wind Galarian Weezing in action in the Great League. Hopping into the first match, battling some viewers and picking up a very nice lead. Scrafty into Dubwool. Dubwool farms up, safe switches into Altaria, and I have an incredible response with Galarian Weezing. Galarian Weezing double resisting the Dragon Breast while hitting for super effective damage in return with Fairy Wind. Now, Fairy Wind, being a Mudshot clone, doesn't do a lot of damage, but it generates energy incredibly quickly. Play Rough grabs a shield from Altaria. Altaria is going to fire off the Sky Attack. I'm going to shield this up, over farm again with the Weezing, and then fire off another Play Rough. Altaria has a tough choice to make here. Play Rough goes unshielded, and down goes Altaria. If my opponent brings back in Dubwool, I'm going to be going straight for the Overheat. They bring in Dubwool, I'm going straight for the Overheat. Overheat does get shielded by Dubwool, that is quite unfortunate. I farm up, switch, and I'm able to catch on to the Shadow Needle Queen. I want to try and preserve Galarian Weezing for the endgame, because I really want to land an Overheat. In the back, they have Trevenant. Things are looking very good for me. Poison Fang does a ton of damage. Trevenant is going to fire off a Seed Bomb. I'm going to let this go, and with the debuff, I should just be able to counter down with Scrafty. So I'm going to bring in Scrafty. I don't have to shield the thing here, and I can just fully commit to the farm down. Trevenant is going to fire off a Seed Bomb. I tank that, no problem. I'm able to fully farm down. I'm going to fire off the Foul Play to stall my Switch Clock. And then it is overheat time. Foul play lands. In comes Galarian Weezing. Double is going to fire off a move. I'm committing the shield. I want this overheat. And I'm able to get there. Galarian Weezing cooks the sheep. And that is a good game. Tough lead in the next match, Scrafty into Defense Deoxys. I will immediately save switch into Galarian Weezing. Deoxys banks some energy and then brings in Galarian Stunfisk. Typically, a ground type into a poison type would be a good matchup for them, but we have Overheat. Overheat grabs a shield. They're going to fire off a move. I'm just going to let it go. They go for a Rock Slide bait, and that allows me to reach a second Overheat. This will be debuffed, but will still hurt and I'm able to grab both shields. Stunfisk massively over farms, and they're gonna fire off a rock slide. At this point, I'm just gonna take my shield advantage, and I'm going to get a ton of energy on my Scrafty. This is enough for an Earthquake. I am going to decide to let this go. Earthquake does quite a bit of damage, but then they actually pivot. They bring in Deoxys, and this is not great because I really needed to get rid of that Stunfisk. Foul Play does quite a bit of damage. I bring in Shadow Nido Queen, and I hope that I can shield the first, let the second one go, and farm all the way down. So I shield the first, I'm going for the farm down. I'm gonna let this one go. It is debuffed. Come on, Nido Queen. Farm down here. Nido Queen not able to farm down Deoxys, lives on very low HP, and I'm forced to shield a Psycho Boost that is four stages debuffed. That is not good. We know they have the very healthy Galarian Stunfisk. I am going to be firing off the Earth Power. Earth Power will be taking out the Stunfisk. What do they have in the back? They have Vigoroth. Things honestly not looking great for me here. I fire off the Poison Fang. I need to try and catch. I go for the catch. They hang on to their energy. And that will be game over. Galarian Weezing managed to get both shields. But my opponent made a great decision to save their Stunfisk. And they pick up the win. The bad leads continue in the next match, Scrafty into Altaria. This time I'm gonna save switch into Shadow Nido Queen, and my opponent responds with a Spark Lantern. Surf is gonna hit for super effective damage, but Shadow Nido Queen is going to be able to tank it. I'm gonna farm up a ton of energy and go for a Poison Fang bait, hoping to try and get a shield, and I do. That's huge. Nido Queen able to win CMP, and now my opponent has a tough choice. They decide to let it go, and I win not only shield advantage, but switch advantage as well. In the back, they have Vigoroth, but Shadow Nido Queen is not done. Able to reach a Poison Fang on very low HP. From here, I can just bring in the Scrafty to absorb the energy from the Vigoroth. 
and Galarian Weezing is going to absolutely crush the Altaria in the endgame. They're able to reach one final body slam. I'm going to be able to tank this, and then it is Galarian Weezing time. They bring in the Altaria, and Galarian Weezing, Fairy Wind incredibly spammy, going to be able to fire off these play roughs. They go for the Sky Attack. I'm going to overfarm, and then fire off the play rough. Play rough doesn't quite one shot, but it is going to put it into farm down range. Weezing, able to farm down, and that is a good game. Hopping to the next match, so Scrafty into Wigglytuff. I'm gonna save switch into my Galarian Weezing. They stay in, farm up some energy, and then bring in Mantine. Honestly, with an energy lead, Galarian Weezing should be able to flip this. I'm able to land the play rough. That's big. They're going to fire off a move. I am going to let this through. They go for the Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace, not the strongest move ever. So I am going to be able to tank it and fire off a second play rough. Really hoping this lands. And it does. And Galarian Weezing able to take switch. In comes Mandibuzz. I try and go for CMP, but they recognize what I'm doing and they go for the extra. They're going to shield up and then fire off a move with the Mandibuzz. I'm going to let this go because at this point, I should be in a very comfortable spot to close out this match because two shield Shadow Nido Queen is incredibly powerful. I'm going to fire off a Poison Fang just before they're able to reach a move. Poison Fang is going to take out the Wigglytuff and I can just Poison Fang this Mandibuzz again and again and again. I Poison Fang, able to grab a shield. They are going to be able to reach a move. This Mandibuzz is actually running Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is going to take out the Nido Queen, but that is perfectly fine because Scrafty is going to be able to close out this game. They're already debuffed, and I can buff up my Scrafty's attack as well. So from here, I'm in a very, very good spot. They fire off another Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball, just not going to cut it. I'm going to reach one final power up punch. This will be taking out the Mandibuzz and the opponent resigns the match. Great lead in the next match, Scrafty into Bibberol. Opponent is gonna save switch into Frostlass, and it appears they are core broken by Scrafty. I'm going straight for the foul play. No baiting here. Foul play, able to land, and they're gonna fire back with the Avalanche. I'm gonna let the Avalanche through, switch into my Galarian Weezing, and go for the Fairy Wind farm down. This way, I get an energy lead, so if they bring back in Bibberol, I should comfortably be able to reach a foul play. Foul play will do a lot of damage. Bibberol does decide to commit the shield. Bibberol farms up, and they're going to fire off a move. Surf will not KO, but it is going to get me quite low. I'm going to try and reach another move, but I do get farmed down. The downside is that our switch clocks are misaligned. I wait the timer, bring in Scrafty, and in the back they have Toxicroak, this is not good. I fire off the power up punch just to stall the timer, and now it's up to shield advantage Shadow Nido Queen. The good news for me is that Shadow Nido Queen is one of the most broken Pokemon in the Great League. I'm going to farm up to the Earth Power and bait with the Poison Fang, hoping to try and get the shield. Poison Fang does get the final shield. That's big. Honestly, it's looking like I may be able to farm down here. So I'm going to shield up the Mud Bomb. Nido Queen, smelling blood in the water, going for the farm down and gets it. And that will be game over as Earth Power will easily vanquish the Bibberol. And that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, sending Scrafty into Sableye. I'm going to save switch into Galarian Weezing, and my opponent responds with Registeel. Now this is a matchup where having Overheat is incredibly handy. I'm going straight for the Overheat. Overheat does get the shield from Registeel. That is quite unfortunate. They're going to fire off the Zap Cannon. That does quite a lot of damage, but they don't get the debuff. Unfortunately, since I already threw an overheat, my attack is already debuffed. I'm going to fire off a second overheat. That does quite a bit of damage. And I'm able to reach a third. The spamminess of Fairy Wind. Overheat, unfortunately not enough to KO. And Registeel is able to farm down. In comes Scrafty, and I will respect the potential Focus Blast. My opponent, recognizing that, goes for the Zap Cannon, so they lower my attack. In the back, they have Skarmory, and this is not good, because both of their remaining Pokemon have incredibly good play against my Nidoqueen. I'm going to stay in with the Scrafty, and just try and do as much damage as I possibly can to the Skarmory. Firing off another Power Up Punch, they tank that no problem. I'm hoping to be able to reach the Foul Play, but they fire off a move just before I'm able to get there. 
That is not great. I shield up the sky attack, and I'm going straight for the foul play. I'm hoping they decide to call the power up punch. Foul play does KO. In comes Sableye. Sableye is going to be firing off a move. I believe this is only a foul play. They do go for the foul play. I'm able to tank it, and I'm going for the power up punch bait, needing to try and grab a shield. Power up punch gets the shield, but I'm not going to be able to reach another move, and that is not ideal because I will not be able to reach the earth power as they will be able to fire off the back-to-back -back foul plays to take down my Nidoqueen, and they're just going to be able to shadow claw down my Scrafty, and I lose a very close game. Hopping into the final match, leading Scrafty into Whizcash. Very nice to catch the ground type on the lead. That way I can hopefully keep it away from my poison types in the back. I build up to the foul play and I'm going for the power up punch, hoping to try and grab a shield. My opponent does let it through, but honestly, that's fine by me. Now that I'm boosted by one stage, if I go for a foul play, I can either guarantee a shield or guarantee a KO. They continue to farm up. I'm going for the foul play, hoping they let it through, and they do. Let's go. In the back, they have Hakamo. I'm gonna save switch into Shadow Nido Queen, and their final Pokemon is Registeel. And at this point, we are in a fantastic spot to close out the match. I fire off the Earth Power. Earth Power does get shielded. Registeel is gonna fire back, but I don't have to shield this. I am gonna be able to tank the Focus Blast from the Registeel and reach a second Earth Power. Does the opponent want to give up that final shield? They do not, and Earth Power is able to connect. They're gonna fire off a last second move. I'm gonna let this go and go for an aggressive Fairy Wind farm down, because at this point, Galarian Weezing can close out this game. They're able to reach a last second move. I am going to be committing a shield here, because unfortunately for Hakamo, -o, there's just absolutely nothing it can do against the fairy type. Play rough does get shielded. Hakamo -o is going to be firing off a move, but whether they go for Dragon Claw or for Brick Break, neither one is going to be doing any damage. So my plan is to no shield everything and just farm up to 100 energy. They go for the Brick Break. We tank that. I farm up to the max, and now I have the play rough for the Hakamo, -o, and I'm very close to the overheat, which is going to be massive overkill for the Reggie. Weezing takes down the Reggie Steel, and that is a good game. All in all, I had a ton of fun running Fairy Wind Galarian Weezing. Since its release, Galarian Weezing has desperately needed a good fast move, and with Fairy Wind, it finally has one. While it's by no means meta for the open Great League, I think it could have a lot of potential in future Great League Limited metas. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.